So, what we're going to talk a bit about today is what I'm doing, what I have been doing with RME stuff, XDA stuff, Sennheiser stuff, which is basically everything that we use. No console, very little analog, this is digital. So, these are the racks that you will see, the show in its entirety. RF, all Sennheiser analog, RME, all digital interfacing, XDA, all digital processing and radial analog DIs with nice transformers and switching for emergencies. What you'll see in these racks are the new Fireface UFXs which do more than any of the Firefaces that I've ever had in the past. We've got three of these in the rack plus the sample rate converter and format converter that RME make. It's all rock solid gear and since I've been doing professional stuff I've been using RME gear. So, also got a couple of bits at front of house, Dante connections, a Waves piece of hardware, some more Sennheisers and some time code stuff. It looks like a lot, but in fact, this is the whole show. We've got no consoles, um, we've got a bunch of tablets that we carry around with us. Um, Most people will have known me for doing Dizzy Rascals front of house for most of his career. Um, in those days, we would often be faced with uh, the perception that it was a DJ gig or just a rapper, a PA. And so you'd turn up and they'd think you needed a mic and some decks and that was it. And you wouldn't even have a desk in a lot of places. And so I had an XTA SID which is a kind of two-channel version of the 548 that you see in the rack. And I dragged that around with me because it meant that I could set up an entire signal processing path for the vocals. The thing is, sometimes, well, I want to record all the shows, multi-track, and I want to do that digitally. And sometimes you don't even get a mixing desk when you turn up at these gigs. So, first thing I bought was a Fireface 800 years ago. Um, uh, not long after they first came out and Total Mix software for it in actual fact um, is a more than capable mixing desk replacement um, there have been quite a few gigs in Dizzy's career that were mixed on Total Mix including Reading <laughs> so we bought these things sight unseen because we knew that RME make rock solid gear and as I say Total Mix FX now gives us EQ, compression, reverb, delay 99% of what you need in a console, and it's only that big, costs a fraction of the price. This here, the RME Total Mix, is completely MIDI controllable. So you've got a world of choice. You go out and buy a Behringer fader pack, you can go out and buy a Smart AV Tango, and that's my preferred choice actually. And we're working with Sennheiser to try and get even the wireless systems management in the channel strip. Oh, yeah. I originally got into the RME Firefaces because I wanted to make multi-track recordings of the shows. And what I would do is I would turn up with a bunch of XTAs, analog in and out, and insert them into the house desk, and then take the AES out, plug them into, via an ADI-4, a Fireface, and record the show. When I've had consoles fail on me, I actually learnt to mix the show in Total Mix and I realised I don't need a console, especially if it's going to fail. So, the recording capability of the UFX is actually the sort of hidden ace up the sleeve here. Because a lot of people say, oh, you shouldn't be using computers live, and I say, we don't use Windows. But we've got recording capability without the computer, as in, we start recording the show right now and we have a crisis, it's still recording. So I get a full multi-track recording of the show, the ambient mics up in the truss, the lot. And uh, we can take that away, chop it up, the boys can do what they want with it. I believe that they're making a behind the scenes DVD. I'm sure that we're gonna be uh, taking some, uh, some audio from some of the shows. Every show's different, 
You know, don't get that wrong, this is live. This enormous thing that you see in the background is really a live instrument that these boys have created. And uh, this is not a playback show or whatever you want to call it. So every night's going to be unique and we're going to get a recording every night.